next question is from Gaijin American. Would you consider vision boards, altars to celebrities and sports teams and visiting a memorial to be the secular counterparts to deification and ancestor worship? Well, this is an no. interesting question. And I think it depends um, a lot on specific usages. So for example, sometimes people have vision boards, like just to kind of remind them of what their goals are in a very like normal way. And then a lot of people use vision boards as this sort of um, like manifestation, use the power of the secret, or I think that's what it's called, like that weird thing that Oprah promoted, like where it's actually kind of superstitious. A lot of people use altars in a superstitious way. However, at my old apartment, I used to have a, what you could call an altar. But for me, I, I had no belief in it. For me, it was a place where I would put things where I would remind myself about good times in my life, or I would put little mementos that reminded me about um, characteristics about myself that I liked or strengths that I could draw upon. And I really liked that. Um, uh, so it depends. But mostly, I think people use these kinds of things in a super, superstitious way. Well, I mean, if it's not the fact that it could be not superstitious means that it's completely not the same as ancestor worship. The ancestor worship, I mean, if you do that with celebrities, at least a sports team, these are things that are exist, right? Your ancestors are dead. They do not be living. So you cannot be worshiping them. <laughs> I don't, so I don't think that's, that's the same thing. I mean, if you just like you celebrate a sports team or, you know, or like a celebrity, you might, I mean, you could, you could criticize that as good or bad. I don't know. You could maybe pass judgment on that, but it's, that's completely different from something that is based on fiction or based on like a, I don't know, superstition, right? So I think that's why it's completely different. I don't, yeah. I think most vision boards are not superstitious. Most of them are just like, here's the thing. Here are the things that I like most of the time, right? I hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below, because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below